Hello, Dad. As we head into Season 3 of Picard, Jean-Luc has finally reached the end of his Star Trek story. We know more about the life and times of Captain Picard than arguably any other Star Trek character we've come to love. Thanks to Picard Season 2, we got a deep dive on his childhood. We're deeply versed in the history of his family, the winery business, and the accomplishments of his ancestors. We know he is a solitary man who keeps his deepest thoughts private. We've experienced not one, but two of his lifetimes, and we've seen how his journey has shaped one of the greatest captains Starfleet has ever known. Adventure and the stars have been his greatest romance, but there have been some key people he's carried close to his heart along the way. From his bridge crew to his brother Robert, Boothby, Guinan, Q, Sarek, Dathan, and many others. We've already seen most of the people who've impacted his life. And here at the end of his story, we think that this onion has been peeled and we know everything there is to know about one of our favorite captains of the Enterprise. But if you thought there was nothing left to uncover, then you have another thing coming. Because season three of Picard is going to hit you with the biggest stunner of them all. That's right, Jean-Luc Picard has a son. Wait until you see how the pieces of this puzzle fit together. You don't want to miss this episode. Also, make sure you stay tuned until later, where we will show you why NordVPN will change the way you use content on the internet. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And give us a thumbs up if you want more inside knowledge about your favorite shows. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome, make it so, Captain Picard inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at Mixtees.com. Mm. Seen that the Howard women have exceptionally vigorous libidos. I certainly hope so. How, you ask? How is it possible that Jean-Luc has a son in the upcoming third season of Picard? And no, it's not another clone, those sneaky little Romulans. Did Picard's Riza romance Vosh slip away after their final meeting with a little bun in the oven? Or perhaps there was more to the Nella Darren romance than we were led on to. They did promise to keep seeing each other when the Next Generation episode Lessons ended. <clears throat> Uh, I'm sorry. No, neither of those are it, and let's be honest, that's not the story you want anyways, right? As far as most longtime fans are concerned, there can be only one mother to a child of Jean-Luc Picard, and that woman is Dr. Beverly Crusher. Well, you obviously have romantic feelings for him. That's right. We believe it will be revealed that since we last saw Beverly on the Enterprise during the events of Star Trek Nemesis, she's been keeping a secret from her ex-captain and longtime friend slash secret heartthrob. The jigsaw pieces are many and scattered, as you'll see when we start putting the puzzle together. But the end result is that Picard Season 3 is about to reveal a whole lot more to the Picard-Crusher relationship than any of us thought we'd ever see. What have these two been doing off-screen since Nemesis? But hold on to that thought for just a moment. So who exactly will be playing Jean-Luc Picard Jr.? If you don't know who Ed Spaliers is, you'll want to get acquainted with this British actor. Yeah! Damn good, mate. Absolutely f***ing spot on, actually. Because going forward, he will be forever known as the son of the legendary Jean-Luc Picard. Spilliers got his start as the title character in the popular young adult novel turned movie, Aragon. Since then, Spilliers has made a name for himself as Jimmy Kent in Downtown Abbey and Stephen Bonet in the Outlander TV series. The fact that Spilliers would be appearing in Picard Season 3 was an accidental slip. TrekCentral.net reported on July 18th that Spilliers would be appearing on Picard thanks to a tweet from acting coach and director Gary Condes. Gary, you got some splainin' to do. The tweet that Condes put out was an invitation to his 12-week acting class, which included an endorsement quote from Star Trek Picard actor Ed Spilliers. The tweet was quickly deleted, but not before the world got a peek behind the scenes of the upcoming season of Picard. Condes also had the spoiler on his website, which was updated and removed quickly after the information got out. 
Star Trek Picard inside sources have revealed that Spaliers is indeed a part of the cast for season 3, but a little time spent on Instagram could also confirm the news. Not only did Spaliers recently wish Sir Patrick Stewart a happy birthday, but Ed is also followed by some key people to include showrunner Terry Metalis, Jonathan Frakes, Jerry Ryan, and Star Trek Picard casting director Liz Dean. But just because Spaliers looks and sounds like a young Jean-Luc Picard, that isn't a smoking gun, right? Perhaps not, but let's put together a few more pieces of the puzzle and see if it just doesn't make a little more sense. But before we share the whole story on Picard's son, let me quickly tell you why you are going to love this video's sponsor, NordVPN. If you aren't currently using a VPN while online, you are missing out on a whole new world of possibilities. When people reach out to us frustrated because they can't watch the latest episodes of The Orville or Star Trek Strange New Worlds, we send them to NordVPN. NordVPN is who we use when we access our favorite content wherever we go. It takes just a click. Open the map, click on the location, and you'll be connected in seconds. It's that easy. Is there a streaming service not available in your country? No problem. Problem. Choose NordVPN to change your virtual location and you'll be watching your favorite shows immediately. Tired of slow internet traffic? NordVPN encrypts your traffic so internet providers can't slow down your streaming speeds. Tired of intrusive ads and web trackers? NordVPN's threat protection blocks them. We love the incredible number of advantages we have when using NordVPN. Surf the internet privately and get access to content all over the world right now. Your subscription can be used on up to six devices. Click on the link in the description below or go to nordvpn.com slash thepopcast to get the two-year plan with an exclusive deal plus one month free. It's risk-free with NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Try NordVPN today. You know it's going to happen. Spaliers is not only a very young looking actor, with the right accent and look, but we know he isn't going to be the bad guy. And that's because this season of Picard is going to be a bad girl. We have a lot more information on this to share with you, so make sure you come back for future videos to learn more about who our season 3 villain will be. But if Spaliers isn't the villain, let's face it, they had to fire a whole bunch of season 1 and season 2 regulars to make room for the Picard bridge crew. So this young British guy has to be playing a big part of the show if other people were left out. And if you thought bringing back the TNG crew meant taking the focus off Picard, then you'd be wrong. During an interview with TrekMovie.com, Metalis revealed that all three seasons of Picard deal with an emotional aspect of Jean-Luc's life. And what emotional aspect of Captain Picard do we still have to deal with? His family and his legacy. Remember the heart-wrenching scene during Star Trek Generations in the Nexus, where Jean-Luc is surprised to learn he has a wife and children, and that his nephew René is alive? We see a moment of peace and joy unlike any we've seen before on his face. And while we know this wasn't real, it doesn't mean it isn't an emotional journey Captain Picard still needs to go on. Now that Q has taught him that it's okay to be loved, he needs to accept love and love in return. This is the last personal place to explore with the character. When LeVar Burton spoiled the fact that his daughter Micah would be playing one of his two daughters during Picard Season 3, he gave away more than he realized. He goes on to say the whole storyline is really about the next generation of the next generation. Note, he wasn't talking about his storyline. He said the whole storyline, and the next generation for Picard is a son. So if Dr. Crusher had Jean-Luc's son on the down low, how did all this go down and how will it come out during Picard Season 3? Metalis has made no bones about the fact that Dr. Crusher is going to play an important role in Picard Season 3. He literally tweeted out, Oh, you are going to see Beverly alright. You aren't ready for it. He also said, for Gates McFadden, he wanted to make sure that Crusher really had a very strong story. She's a fascinating character who let her son go off in the universe and had a romantic relationship with Captain Picard. So where is she now? Metalis also noted that more than any other Enterprise crew member, Dr. Crusher's return will have the biggest impact on Picard. Yeah, she has his kid. And don't just take it from Metalis. McFadden has made no secret about the fact that Picard Season 3 is the best written material for her character ever. Everything we've learned is that Crusher is a focal point of the series. Background on Metalis is that he is a Star Trek superfan. 
He worked on both Star Trek Voyager and Enterprise, and he was a huge fan of The Next Generation. Metalis has repeatedly told us that Picard Season 3 is a proper send-off for the TNG cast, and old-time fans know that we all want Picard and Crusher to end up together in the end with a family of their own. With Wesley out traveling the galaxy, he's going to be surprised when he learns out he has a little brother. And since Metalis is a fan, we feel pretty strongly this is what he wants as well. How about another piece of the puzzle? Why is Orla Brady, who played Laris and John Luke's love interest during Picard Season 2, leaving the show at the beginning of Season 3? In March, Brady indicated she was wrapping up her work playing Laris early in the production. Move over, Bacon, there's something leaner. Move over, Bacon. Now there's something meatier. If Loris isn't Picard's love interest, then you can bet it will be Crusher. And honestly, this just makes more sense. We spent 15 years wondering if and when the two love-pining characters would get together, and it never happens. During the finale of TNG, we learn in a potential timeline, Picard and Crusher are married for a short time. As good as that finale was, it was an abrupt and unsatisfying ending for fans looking for a romantic conclusion to the pair. Earlier in Season 7, during the episode Attached, Crusher and Picard are able to read each other's minds for a period of time, and they learn that they love each other. Even at the end of the episode, they reluctantly agree to just remain friends, although it's obvious there is a fire of desire burning inside both of them. There was no way that was the end of Jean-Luc and Crusher, and we believe Picard Season 3 is going to give us the rest of that story. So, how will it all go down? Inside sources have revealed that Season 3's action kicks off because of Crusher. What we believe is that she disappeared from the lives of the rest of the crew after the events of Nemesis, but reappears at the beginning of Picard Season 3 and reaches out to Jean-Luc. She needs help, and this will be the catalyst that gets the gang back together. And we also believe that whatever is going on has something to do with her and Picard's son. And when it comes to the big picture, it just makes sense to link Crusher and Picard together romantically. Thankfully, Metalis has quite a bit to work with here. Picard Season 3 takes place a little over a year after the events of Season 2 in the year 2402. The finale for TNG took place in 2370, but the future timeline inside the episode happened in 2395, seven years before the events of Picard Season 3. And remember, in that episode, Crusher and Picard had already been long married and divorced by that time. And since Beverly wasn't with child during the events of Nemesis in 2379, we know that whatever happened between the two of them had to happen after that. But according to canon, nothing really happens until the events of Picard Season 1. But what about things that aren't canon? Death in Winter, written by Michael Jan Friedman and published in 2005, is a Star Trek The Next Generation novel that picks up on the story of Dr. Crusher following the events of Nemesis and explores the romantic relationship between her and Jean-Luc. And not only that, but they end up having a son named, you guessed it, René. René Jacques Robert Francois Picard is born in 2381, named both after Jean-Luc's nephew and brother. This takes place two years after the events of Nemesis. In the book, Beverly leaves the Enterprise to become the chief medical officer of Starfleet. But wait, you say, that didn't happen in Nemesis. No, but it should have. Several deleted scenes from Nemesis paint an entirely different picture of what was happening with both Picard and Crusher. A deleted scene at the beginning of the movie mentions that Dr. Crusher is preparing to leave for Starfleet Medical. Another scene was filmed but deleted, which saw Captain Picard and Data talking about the concept of family and the emotions of family. Picard reveals his dismay over choosing a life alone. The book goes on to explore these ideas that Nemesis left on the cutting room floor. In a fascinating set of events that only a fan writing Star Trek could come up with, Picard's son René would eventually go on to marry Natasha Riker Troy. That's right, the daughter of Will and Deanna. With three children, René and Natasha would choose not to follow in the steps of their parents and instead continue the family winemaking business on Mars. But as we said before, none of that is canon now. The question is, will Terry Metalis make it canon? We believe he will, but what do you think? Would you like to see Jean-Luc's son in the final season of Picard? Would you like to see the captain walk off into the sunset with Beverly, or should he stay a lone wolf? 
Are you looking forward to the final season of Picard and the return of the TNG crew? Are you having a hard time keeping your hype in check or are you a cool cucumber? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, check out this incredible Make It So Captain Picard inspired graphic design. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. I should have done this a long time ago.